What's up guys, welcome back to Hi Go Spot channel. Recently, I forgot my iPhone lock screen passcode and it shows iPhone unavailable message on the screen after entering the wrong passcode too many times in a row. If you have the same problem, check this video. I'll be showing you three ways to reset your unavailable iPhone to factory settings. If your device is running iOS 15.2 or higher, Apple offers you an option to erase the iPhone, you can simply reset your unavailable iPhone without using the passcode at all. This method only worked for the device running iOS 15.2 and later, and your device has to connect to the network. If you didn't connect to Wi-Fi before, you can insert a SIM card to help you get access to a cellular network. You'll also need your Apple ID and password to set up your device. Keep entering the wrong passcode until trying again in 15 minutes or until the Erase iPhone option appears. Now, when it reaches 15 minutes, you'll see an Erase iPhone option on the right bottom corner. Simply tap on it, then tap Erase again to confirm, enter the Apple ID password to sign out of your Apple ID on your device, and wait for a short while here, now as you can see that the iPhone is getting erased. You need to wait for a while, if you have backup data for your iPhone, you can follow the on-screen setup steps until you reach the apps and data screen, then you can get your data back by selecting restore from iCloud backup option. When the progress bar reaches the end, it will refresh again and flash the Apple logo, when you see the hello screen, you can set up your phone now. However, if your iPhone is disconnected from the Wi-Fi or cellular data, you have to connect it to the computer to reset your unavailable iPhone. The best solution is to use iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker.com to reset your iPhone and the link will be put in the description part. Okay, let's move on. Once you download and install it, launch it on your computer. Here you may get three parts on the interface, click on white passcode then click start, follow the instruction on the interface, you'll need to connect the unavailable iPhone to the computer by using a USB cable. Because your iPhone locked you out, the tool can't detect your device unless you place it into recovery mode. Now let's do this. For iPhone 8 and later, let's take iPhone 13 for an example, press and release the volume up and volume down button quickly, then keep pressing the side button, you don't need to drag the power off slider, the phone will shut down automatically, then show you the Apple logo, don't let go of the button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and Plus, keep pressing the volume down and side button together, this process needs a few seconds, don't release the buttons until the iPhone gets into recovery mode. For iPhone 6 or earlier, keep pressing the home and side button, when the recovery mode screen appears, let go of the buttons. Once entered recovery mode, the device will connect to the tool successfully and then jump to the next page. Here you need you select your iPhone category and type from the drop-down menu because the iPhone unlocker can't recognize the iPhone information automatically. Click the start button, it starts to download the newest iOS software for your iPhone to get rid of the unavailable screen. Once it is done, it will jump out of an unlock confirmation window reminding you that everything will be wiped out completely during the reset process. Enter 0000, click unlock to confirm your option, then it will start to reset your iPhone. Wait patiently during this process, when it shows unlock successfully on the interface, the hello screen will show on the screen, which means your iPhone is reset successfully and the iPhone unavailable message on the screen is gone, now you can unplug your device from the computer and set up your phone as a new one. The next method suits some of you guys who want to reset iPhones remotely. What you can use to reset your iPhone is using FindMy on iCloud.com. It requires you to have another phone or a PC, 
Here I prepare a computer to help me. What you have to do is go to iCloud.com in Safari, then signed into the Apple ID used in the unavailable iPhone. If it's not your Apple ID, you should sign out of the Apple ID first and then sign in with your account. Here I've signed in with my Apple ID, so I'm gonna tap the continue button then go on, tap find iPhone on the interface, and choose the unavailable iPhone from the list. Here you'll get three options on the pop-up window, you need to tap erase iPhone, tap continue to confirm then you'll need to confirm your Apple ID once again, tap erase option. Now you can see your unavailable iPhone is resetting now. There's one thing you have to note that the unavailable iPhone won't be erased successfully if it doesn't connect to the network. Once completed, it will show you the Apple logo and hello screen. Once you complete the setup process, now you can use your iPhone as usual. Hopefully, this video solves your problem. If it does, please hit the thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions about fixing an unavailable iPhone, please leave them in the comment area down below. See you in the next video.